Hey guys, it's Jasmine. It's been so long since I filmed the tutorial and I'm super excited to share with you the super bright blue, um, really easy smoky eye look with you. So without further ado, let's just get started. So first things first, I made sure to prep the skin with Makeup Forever's HD Primer and then I'm just going to use my fingers with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation and I am so in love with this stuff. Um, when I was shopping in Orstrom, they said that you don't even need primer, um, and a lot of times I don't use primer, and I still find that it gives, well, bleh, it gives really good coverage. Um, so I don't even need to use tools with that. Next, I'm using MAC's Pro Longwear Concealer to highlight and also to conceal some blemishes. Um, so I like getting a concealer that's a little bit lighter, especially because I find that a lot of my blemishes are in the zones that I like to highlight anyways. I like to kill two birds with one stone. So here I'm highlighting and concealing. So after you make sure you blend that in really well, um, I also like to use that same um, concealer as an eye primer for my eyeshadow. Of course you can use an actual eyeshadow primer, but I find that this works just fine for me. And I also like that it conceals the, um, the veins in my eyelids. <laughs> I'm really weird and the stickler about that, so I like that it's a very um, clean canvas. So next, take a loose powder and really pack it on the places that you highlighted. And this is what they call baking your face. I'm sure you've heard of it by now, but just in case you haven't, this just draws out um, any oils and also it just sets the highlight very well. Um, I used to not think that this really did anything or worked very well, but I think you just have to really work on hydration of your skin before you do this. Next, I'm taking Kat Von D's um, Powder Shade and Light palette for um, contouring the face and I like to use the a mixture of colors just so there's more dimension but um, just use this cup powder on the places that you contour your face and I know it looks really dumb to contour your nose with such a big brush but trust me it works for me okay so I'm just gonna do that you know you do you next I'm going to do my eyebrows I can film a more in-depth eyebrow tutorial if that's something you're interested in, please let me know. But pretty much I just line the bottom of the shape and then part of the top and then I fill it in. And then of course um, closer to the middle of your brows you just want to feather it out so it's not a harsh line. But I like a good strong brow, you know, depending on the day. So sometimes it's different how I fill in my brows. Lately, I've been trying to make them look a little bit more natural, a little bit more feathery. Um, I used to be really into the super dark and super bold brow. Um, but I can definitely film a tutorial for you on it if you'd like. Please let me know. Alright, so after I do my eyebrows, I go to my eyes and I make sure to pack on some more powder under my eyes so that I can catch any fallout. And today I'm going to be using the electric palette because it has such vibrant colors. I'm starting out with a little bit of the um, contour powder that I used just to add a little bit of definition and to help me blend out my blue colors. Next I'm going to be taking the color Gonzo which is kind of, um, it has a little bit of a green undertone. It's kind of a teal blue. Um, I'm using that as my transition color to really um, blend out that very vibrant blue blue. So I'm going to be putting a little bit of that under where I put the contour color and I literally blend until I feel like my fingers are going to fall off. So I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to watch me blend for so long. Alright guys, so after I blend it out and I feel like, you know... It's, it's pretty decently blended. I'm going to take some of that bright blue chaos and I just like to pack on the color. If you use a sweeping motion, it's definitely going to have more fallout. So I definitely recommend to pack on the color and not to swipe the brush across your eyelid. So pat it like I'm doing here. And then of course, once you feel like you got a good amount of color on there, blend it out so that everything is seamlessly blended and you got a nice smoky blue eye 
And I sped up and cut out a lot of clips of me blending just because I didn't want to bore you, but I definitely took my time with this and I was always checking back and forth to make sure that both shapes of color were the right size. And I kind of cut this off a little bit, but I lined the waterline with NYX's um, pencil and milk. And then I used some of that same chaos color to line the bottom lash line. After that, I took NYX's um, matte liquid liner in just black. Um, I really love this eyeliner, especially being a drugstore brand because it dries matte. Um, you know how some of the cheaper liquid eyeliners, they'll dry and kind of crack a little bit and be shiny and reflective and that's not really the look that I personally like in a black eyeliner. Um, if you have trouble using the applicator, definitely find an angled brush and do it that way. It's a lot easier. Honestly, I don't know why I even use the applicator that comes with it. I guess I just kind of got used to it, but it's definitely easier if you used an angled eyeliner brush. Or the same brush that you use for your eyebrows if you use a pomade. After that, I curl my non-existent eyelashes and then I'm going to apply these false lashes. These are from Huda Beauty. Um, they're number 7 in the style Samantha. And I like how fluttery and wispy they are. I'm a sucker for a wispy eyelash. Next, I'm going to be dusting off the loose powder, and then I'm going to apply this organic blush from Zooey Cosmetics, and I went with this very, very almost <laughs> invisible blush because I wanted the attention to stay on my eyes. Next, I'm going to take the glow kit to highlight my cheekbones with the color Starburst, and I'm going to do it on both sides. Then I'm going to take Crushed Pearl, which is the lighter color, and I highlight that everywhere else. This is my most used color of the palette, my favorite one, and I love a good lip lip highlight, okay? <laughs> so I literally did that for like 30 seconds. And then I'm going to use this lip liner, um, insert name here because I'm not sure what it is right now. And I actually really love this lip liner. I can never remember what it's called because I got it in a subscription box, so I never really looked at the name. But I'll put it up here so that I can recommend it to you. I love the formula and the color. Um, yeah, I love it. Next, I'm going to be using um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood. This was impossible for me to find at any Sephora or Ulta. And then I walked into, you know, my local Macy's and there were literally like 20 boxes of them. So if you have a hard time finding this color, I would definitely recommend checking Macy's. And that is the finished look. I also put a little bit of Crushed Pearl on my lips to have a little bit of highlight. Um, I really like this look. It was super easy in my opinion. I hope you had a fun time following along. I hope it was pretty easy to follow. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!